Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. Okay, so today we are checking out, at long last, the official gameplay trailer for Peacemaker, the latest DLC character to join Mortal Kombat 1, and he'll be coming out in about a week, a little less than a week, I think, uh, February 28th, so very soon. Um, we were given the heads up yesterday that this was going to be coming out today, which was very nice. Appreciate that, NRS. Um, apologies for this going up on YouTube a bit later than I like to get them posted. Um, I just wasn't able to get it up early today. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes things get in the way, but here we are. Finally, I'm going to get to check this out and share my reaction with all of you guys. Now, I do have a confession going into this. I haven't seen the Peacemaker show. I saw, I saw the Suicide Squad, okay, so I know who his character is, I have some experience, some experience with his character, and I did think he was funny, um, so, but I do think that I should probably try to binge watch the show before he comes out to, to get a full understanding, um, of him. I have seen some things about the character, um, so... Yeah, like, other than the Suicide Squad, other than from the movie. So I do know some things, you know, that's just out in the universe. Um, I know that he has a companion named Eagly, and that's who I really want to see in this and see me in the game, because you know how I love animals, but, but yeah. So I'm probably not going to get all of the references yet. I should have binge-watched the show already, to be honest. So I'll probably have to do that before he comes out so that I can get all the in-game references. Because knowing NRS, they probably put a ton of them in there, but... Nonetheless, we're going to check this out today. Let's get into it. Here's the Peacemaker gameplay trailer. Here we go. Oh my god. Hip, hip thrust. This is no time to smile. Hell yeah it is. Fight a fire god is coming off my bucket list. <laughs> John Cena sounds good. He sounds good. He sounds good. Oh, it's Janet Cage. Oh my god. Janet Cage. Okay. I'm curious how much like Johnny she's gonna be. Oh. Oh! Was that Eagly? Oh, oh jeez. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got the, the green, so there's some classic Johnny stuff that she's- You're the first bangable monster chick I've met. You think me a monster? That's the part you were upset about, Melina? Wait. Eagly. Okay, there's like a teleport. Is he yelling the move names? I will so enjoy killing you. Is that a different Quan Chi move? Oh, yes. Wait, that's like an old school Johnny thing. Headbutt. Eagerly attacks their cameo? Wait. Oh my god. It's a peace sign. <laughs> it's a peace sign. No I really gotta watch the show, don't I? I really gotta watch the show. Oh, Sonic Boom. <laughs> it's Sonic Boom. No, he's not gonna feed that piece. Unlocked. He Break fed down. the chunk of him to Eagly. Win. Janet Cage available in March. Oh. Oh, so it's the classic Johnny. The classic Johnny. Interesting. Okay. So first of all, I think this just confirms that I really need to actually go and watch the show so I can get all of the specific references. But I think it's funny. He's calling out the names of things before he does them. Right? Like he's saying eagerly. Are you saying Sonic Sonic Boom? Is he saying Sonic Boom? Yeah, which is pretty funny. But John Cena sounds great. He looks great. He looks fantastic. 
I definitely need to get the references because I'm sure like a lot of these are very specific references. Like his his like the through the leg gunshot. I'm sure that's got to be the fatality. I'm sure it's got to be. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go watch the show. Sorry guys, I'm a bad reactor. I didn't watch the show ahead of time <laughs> to prepare. Um, but I will, I will, I promise, I will. Okay, but there's a lot of other stuff to comment on here. Okay, so first of all, Eagly. Like I said, Eagly is one of the things that I knew and I was really hoping was gonna be in. And he seems to be in, not just is he in, but he seems to be able to call him almost as like a super fast, low projectile. But then also we see him call Eagly and Eagly is attacking the opponent's cameo, which is wild. That seems wild. So like, I wonder if he'll work against like all cameos and in what specific way like because is this a is this gonna be a good counter for us to finally to deal with some of the most annoying cameos we have eagerly come in and take out striker <laughs> or, or take out kato because that would be pretty awesome <laughs> just saying that'd be pretty awesome eagerly swipes in and no more kato just saying um but okay so on top of this i feel like there's a is that a new Quan Chi move that we saw in there? I don't know if I'm losing my mind, but I feel like that's something I, I mean, maybe I'm just not familiar with all of Quan Chi's moves. Maybe there's ones that people just never use, but maybe that's a hint of some changes to come. And then of course, Janet Cage. So she was in the end of story mode in that, that like the, the awesome, a final chapter where you have all the mashup characters and the swap characters you know I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you played the story mode um so she's basically an alternate universe Johnny where Johnny is a woman um and originally we were told that it was going to be a Johnny cameo and then eventually that it was switched to be Janet um and so we're getting Janet Cage is going to be the next cameo and she looks pretty fun like so she's like old school Johnny. She's got she's got the green, you know. She's got the green, uh, his green shadow kicks and um, some of like his old school, like really old Johnny Cage moves with the multiple punch uh, air combo thing. Um, his old fatality, original fatality from the old games. So I think that's pretty sick. I know there's probably going to be some people out there that are annoyed because they switched her to Janet instead of Johnny and be like, what the hell? But I think it's sick. I think it's cool. You know, give us, give us some changes. Now, yes. Do I want Cassie in the game? Yes. So would I rather have Cassie in the game? Yes, but that's because I have a love for Cassie. But I'm still holding out hope for Cassie to be in the game eventually as a DLC character. So I don't mind the idea of Janet being here. And she's, you know, she's like an old Johnny type thing. She's not Cassie. She's completely different moves from Cassie and everything. So I think there's still plenty of hope that Cassie can be in, even if we also have Janet. And I'm interested to try her out and see what she can do as a cameo. So... I'm also really excited for everything else that's going to be coming when he comes out. We're going to have the new season of Invasions, which is a Melina season. I'm super curious to see what all of the outfits, all the skins, costumes are going to look like to go along with that and the new Combat League season as well. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of exciting things coming up for MK1 in just a few days. But I think that Peacemaker looks amazing. I think John Cena sounds great. I'm sure he put a lot of effort into this and probably had a ton of fun. So I'm gonna go watch the show so that I get all the references before the game comes out because I'm sure there's even way more in the actual game itself besides what was shown here in the trailer. So I will get them all. I'm sorry guys, um, but all right. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. You let me know in the comments what you think. Are you excited to try out Peacemaker? What do you think about him? What do you think about the moves that you see so far? What do you think about Janet Cage? Yeah, any thoughts that you have, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.